welcome to another video tutorial in the previous videos we have learned how we can download and install R and then later on we learned how we can customize this R studio layout so in this video we will learn how we can install R packages and why it is important to install packages so as here you can see if we want to perform any analysis or we want to plot any graph so it is essential we should have a set of codes that is called packages so we can begin like here if you want to import your data set like other any statistical software so as here you can see if your data is in the form of excel so you can go here from excel and you can see preparing data import requires an updated version of read excel package so it means actually if you want to import your data so it need read excel package so it is asking you whether you want to install that read x package so we can simply install this and we can allow yes so if we will perform yes here you can see it is now installing that read excel package for import so as here you can see now it is automatically performing and uh, now we can import our data from anywhere i mean anywhere around the desktop or the downloads we can upload excel file here as here you can see in this fourth tab uh, here are the packages and here is the list of all those packages which are already installed in my computer and this r studio so uh, let's first try to know what are those important packages which we should know so here is the list of top 10 packages uh, of R which are normally used by different data scientists or other agriculture biologists so uh, the most famous one is ggplot2 so let me show you how we can install ggplot2 so if you can try here write like ggplot2 so you will see this is not already installed so how we can install here so you can simply click on this install button and here is different options you can see whether you want to install it from repository that is CRAN so this is actually an online uh, repository of different packages so you can simply select your package like you can write your packages name like we want gg you can see whenever i have started to write it is giving automatically prompt so i want ggplot2 so if you want other so you if you want to install multiple packages so you can just separate multiple with space or comma so let's suppose uh, we also want another package that is tidy r so as here you can see these two packages if we want to install so I will recommend you that you can just check in this option which is install dependencies so that you it can work properly and now we can just try to hit this install button so as here you can see it has now automatically performing the installation so as here you can see now it is showing the stop button that we should not interrupt our while it is installing our packages so it may take a few minutes to install depending upon the speed of internet so you can hold for a while yeah that's it here you can see our packages have been installed so if you want to check whether our packages are installed or not so you can go back to this list and check if our installed packages are there so you can see the gplot is still not there so uh, we can check for any error messages and we can try again we can try to hit on install and we can write here ggplot2 and we can simply click on this install so now you can see it is starting to download 
their files and while we can wait until it will download its required files and applications you can see the package gg2 plot is successfully unpacked and checked so now we can check if the ggplot2 is installed so as here you can see now our ggplot2 is already installed so uh, here is another way to install ggplot2 this was the first way i mean which was the most easiest way so we can also install this package through coding like we can write install we can write install sorry all the letters should be in small so here as here you can see the install packages can write ggplot2 ggplot2 can select this whole line or press this run so as here you can see this is already installed yeah you can see now it's working so now if you want to activate your package so there are two ways so one way is we can simply write like gg2 ggplot2 so we can simply check this option so as here you can see to i mean previously we have installed ggplot2 package but now this time we are like calling our ggplot2 to, to perform so what is uh, that code you can see we can simply write library library and uh, then we can write ggplot2 to activate that package so we can either select this one or we and we can run this one or we can simply uh, use keyboard control and enter to activate this package so you can see this is now activated now we will learn how we can remove any package which we are not required so let's suppose we want to remove read excel this package from our system so we can simply select this one and press on this cross button so you can see now it is asking to remove the package so we can simply click on here so it will remove the package if you want to remove any package so you can use this command to remove packages so uh, you can try these uh, important packages for installation or removal so it will help you in later on videos